Let's have a look at the newest premium instrument for M Sound Factory called Analog Empire Plugs and Keys. Like in the first Analog Empire, you get over 30 synth multi samples, deeply sampled synth patches with multiple velocity layers. You can see right here how they are sampled, and then you can layer two of these multi samples on top of each other. Sound A, sound B. Let's look at the different presets. Sound A. Sound B. By the way, you can right click a knob to easily set it back to its default value or control right click. Let's create a new sound from scratch, meaning let's turn off all the effects you have on the second tab up here. Now let's turn the mix knob over to A. Now we only hear this multi-sample dry as it was recorded. Another one. Oh, this one is beautiful. Alright, let's use this one and see what kind of sound we can layer with it. We turn the mix knob up to 100%, now we can only hear sound B. Maybe that one's a bit too similar, so let's use a different one. This one is very different, so let's see what it sounds like just 50-50 mixed. Sound B could maybe be an octave higher. That's easily done with the pitch knob. Maybe I want to sound A a bit louder. But let's quickly focus on sound B again and test some of these other knobs. We can introduce some drift, which makes the pitch move around slightly, as it might on an old analog synth that's not in peak condition. A new feature for plugs and keys, if you turn up the plug knob, it gives the sound more of a plug shape. An easy tone shaping knob right here, make it brighter or a bit darker, and spread, which does random panning per note. So if you play multiple notes, it gives it a really nice spread across the stereo spectrum. Wow. Compared to when it's off. Very mono. And 100%. That sounds lovely. Let's maybe give both of the voices a bit of movement right there. And let's hear it again mixed together. Now let's move on to these controls right here. To me, these are always the most interesting part of any Analog Empire instrument. These give you dynamic control over the mix knob. For example, key. Let's play this low note right here. You can hear how sound A and sound B are layered. And if I turn down this key knob to minus 100%, it sounds like this. We only hear sound B. And if I turn it up to plus 100%, we only hear sound A. And the opposite is going to happen to the highest note. Only sound B. Sound A, sound B. So depending on which note you're playing, the mix is going to be different. The high notes, more of sound B. The low notes, more of sound A. Or the opposite way around. And also, especially with multi-sampled keys, this next knob is going to be my favorite one, Velocity. 
we can make the mix dependent on how hard you hit the note. Turn it up, soft playing sounds like this, hard playing sounds like this, maybe we tweak it a bit like this. Lovely. This is the heart of the Analog Empire series. Layering of two multi-sampled synth recording and interesting interaction with the mix between the two. And down here we have an amp envelope, which we could use to tighten up some of these plucks tails. And also a multi-mode filter. With keys it's also going to be nice to add some key tracking and velocity responsiveness. Key tracking makes the filter cutoff depend on which note you're playing. So if it's at 100%, the higher notes can stay a lot brighter while you're already still filtering out some of the lower notes as well. But if you turn it off, you're mostly filtering out the high notes, right? And velo means the harder you hit a note, the more open the filter is going to be. And you can also control the filter with this envelope over here. Especially if you add some resonance to the filter, this can also get you some iconic plug sounds. Alright, I kind of like the sound that we created now. Now let's also have a look at the effects section, and I think we could add some chorus to these keys. Mm, that sounds pretty nice. Some reverb maybe. A bit less intense, but a bit longer maybe. Some more ducking. Now the reverb is ducking away for the transients, but it fills a lot of space after the pluck has faded. We can make that transition a bit quicker. Maybe some lo-fi tape on it as well. Lovely. Plugs and Keys is free for M Sound Factory and M Sound Factory LE owners, but it can also be purchased separately and used in the free M Sound Factory player. And if you don't own M Sound Factory yet, you can check out the 15 day fully functional trial. I have been Sylvan from the channel Sent to Sound Factory. Thanks very much, Melda, for having me. See you again soon. <laughs>